How's it going, man? Thank you uh, for going having great. me. Uh, Guys, awesome we have the Balliet brand in the building today. Um, man, I've been I've been wanting to do this for so long. So freaking long, man. It's it's so good to have you here. So uh, for the people, I mean, I guarantee you everybody on my channel knows who you are. <laughs> but go ahead and introduce yourself, if you will, for everybody. Yeah, of course. And, uh, you know, once again, thank you for, for doing the streaming as well. I think it's awesome for for everyone uh, and anyone to to come on board and kind of share some of their perspectives and learnings and stuff. But um, I've been following Richard since about March 15, 2017, uh, almost five years now this March. But anyways, a uh, big fan of what he you know talks about, what he wants to do, uh, not only just with you know financial aspects, but with other aspects too. And uh, so I got into Hex early, had followed him since uh, followed him since it was called Bitcoin Hacks and participated in, you know, the adoption amplifier and all these other things. And mm -hmm. anyways, as far as his other two projects, Pulse Chain and, and Pulse X, uh, I'm a big fan of those as well. And uh, everything about it, you know, just a just a fanatic uh, member of the community and really like everything that's going on. Yeah, definitely, bro. Me too. I, you know, <clears throat> my cousin actually got me into the community. Uh, he like, uh, we were, I was in all these bad cryptocurrencies and then like he basically convinced me to get on board with Hex and I still didn't know anything about it. So I was just like holding it liquid for a little bit. And then like, I started learning more, man. Like, and then I started listening to Richard and all this other kind of stuff. It, it kind of just, you know, it, like a light bulb goes off and then another one goes off and then another one goes off. And cause I've only been a part of the community since July, like not even close to a year yet but i was oh, like man I'm, I'm trying to trying to get on this uh this this content creating stuff and just try to mm. get the word out there so um i guess you kind of already covered it but i mean i just had one here like how'd you get into hex mm -hmm. so so yeah so i mean i guess how i got into hex initially was just uh was just like you know how i'd kind of found richard and, and how i'd kind of found out about him um so initially i had so initially, like, when was this? Maybe 2016, uh, 2017, uh, I had started getting in, uh, interested in investing. Uh, someone that I was working with at the time at CenturyLink, he, yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> I was working at the, the, the place in Bellevue, Washington, and uh -huh. we were selling fiber to, uh, you know, to the people that could uh, qualify for it, right? Because the infrastructure is different from the, the copper versus the fiber, but so the right. guy, uh, you know, the two guys that I was working with had had pretty good relationships with them and just chatting with them the, the whole time while, you know, you're waiting to do sales and stuff. And mm -hmm. anyway, so one of them always had on like, uh, I forget what channel it was. I don't really watch television, but some sort of mm -hmm. investing channel. And he was talking about silver and gold. And so long story short, I had gotten into a little bit of the precious metals and stuff. And then I don't even know how I stumbled across it, but maybe it was the television or something that was mentioning cryptocurrency and, and Bitcoin and stuff. And so I go on to Reddit and because I was, you know, pretty big into Reddit back in the day. And long story short, hear about, you know, the first cryptos that I got in, which was Bitcoin and Litecoin. And then uh, after a while, because Richard was like a Bitcoin maximalist at the time and how I found out about him was someone was, you know, talking bad about him. They were insulting him without him being able to defend him, uh, himself on Reddit, you know, because mm. he was a Bitcoin maxi and stuff. So, so I said, Hey, you know, I didn't realize there was such a big influencer space on YouTube. Let me, you know, let me try and learn from people. So I followed Richard and a handful of other people. And Richard was always just someone that I could just connect with, uh, right away. And I could just tell that he was genuine and, you know, he didn't have a, like a, like a hidden, a hidden motivation. And so I'd always just been following him and his first videos were all self-help. But then mm -hmm. when he had talked about, hey, you know, uh, this space can be kind of fixed for the better and I can do something better than what the space is currently offering, I really had my ears perk up, you know, because everything else in the crypto space were all promise coins. And, uh, you know, maybe yeah. maybe nine or ten months later of, of us hearing the four more weeks meme of Hex being developed mm -hmm. and, and launched, mm -hmm. Was when it had launched so uh, i particip participated in that and then everything else it's been uh, one hell of a journey 
Yeah, I bet, man. Like I say, you know, I got into Hex uh, just in July. I got in at seven cents. And, you know, I totally get it when people are like, they don't want to talk about their financial stuff because, man, like some people got a lot of money and they don't, you know, you don't want to talk about it. But myself personally, I'm good with it because I don't have a lot. So it's not like I'm like, you know, out here just, just saying, oh, I'm a millionaire. No, I have 30K Hex right now. I have, you know, a 15 year stake, a 10 year stake and all this stuff. <clears throat> But the thing is, the reason I'm bringing this up is because uh, T shares, man. I only have two of them. But when you have that long term like mentality about like, let's say I'm gonna get like, let's say let's just say it's five per day, right? Or you know, double that, so I have two T shares, and then for 15 years, 10 hex a day. So what if what if one hex is a thousand dollars, and if like you know, let's just say I don't know how many every years, that's gonna be like 10 grand a day until those stakes end. Like if the price is, you know, that so long term thinking, we're early, like as hell here right now. Oh, yeah. And even though right now I'm a crab and even though, you know, I'm only sitting at like 7K and even though I still got to work, it's fine because we have that delayed gratification, long term mentality, you know. <clears throat> so the T-shirt, bro, I was actually at the fair and it literally just like a light bulb just went off in my head. And then the T-shirt thing, like, like just kind of just I, I just kind of understood it like just like that. And it was crazy. It was crazy. It's true. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, like you mentioned, it's one of those things that, uh, especially a lot of us towards the beginning, we we really didn't understand, to be honest. And and I can only speak for myself, obviously, but but I know people like RG three and a handful of other people. Uh, I mean, Richard had always talked about, hey, longer pays better, bigger pays better, etc. Mm -hmm. And he had talked about what would be the most optimal, you know, uh, game theory to maximize your your principle that you had. And so the point is, is that I didn't realize until, I don't know, maybe until six months in, something like that, that what you wanted to do was, was as you mentioned, the the T-shares are super early, but what I wanted to do was not have it front loaded like I did, but have those, you know, those shares that were very cheap at the time uh, pushed out into the future. And mm -hmm. so it takes a little, a little while to grasp, I'll be honest, because, <clears throat> I mean, with Hex specifically, it's something as you know simple as you want to make it uh, as far yeah. as receiving inflation for being a staker and et cetera. But it's also right. as complex as you want to make it too, because, you know, with the way that the T-shares kind of constantly are going up and things like this, yeah. uh, it provides for a unique experience. Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. I mean, it, it's, just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy to think about and, you know, just dream or whatever, but I... The dreams are going to come true, man. No financial advice, oh, yeah. but they're going to come true. Um, yeah, so I wanted to share this real quick. Here, let me see how to do this. Because this is the next topic that I wanted to bring up. Oh, my gosh. I love it. So put this background on. Pull up this like that. You were in oh, this yeah. music video. All right. And, dude, I think it is awesome, right? Like, I think it's crazy, like, being in a music video or whatever, you know? So, you know, here you are, man. There you I go. Pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, tell me a little bit about that, man. Like, 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 how was it? How, how did you get in touch with them? Like, did they ask you and you just like flew out there and you're in a video or what? I'm kind of. Anyways, oh, okay. so to answer the question, uh, that was in Seattle and the people, the Crypto Sparbu people uh, and the Freedom, <clears throat> the Freedom TV info people, uh, you know, they're they're traveling over all of the not all, but many of the states in America and many of the popular cities and they're just doing these these hex conferences uh educating people to uh you know to stake a app to pulse chain to pulse x etc and uh i think it was i think it was september 9th something like that 2021 mm -hmm. that that they were in uh, or maybe it was october but that they were in seattle and it ended yeah. up being like a 10 minute walk literally from where my girlfriend's apartment is so I just walked over there 10 minutes before and uh, long story short, they uh, so they had a meeting before, which was when that music video was. And then the second day was like the main event where you could bring your friends and family and get them educated into to hacks and crypto. Oh, but cool. they said they wanted to do a music video. And so we just we went up to, uh, you know, we we're in downtown Seattle and went up to one of the parking garages and just drove up to the very top and. It happened to be like a perfect uh, backdrop and things like that for, mm -hmm. for doing a little video. And it's awesome because with uh, with what the Hex community is doing and 
you know, people that are following Richard and participating, um, you know, Richard's not funding any of this. And these are all being funded by, you know, hexagons that have had games and like yeah. this. And uh, the cool thing is, is there was like uh, the team that they have with them. It's like Rob and a couple other guys. Uh, they got like a really good professional, like a camera, you know, professional cameras and like professional like film crew that did the the video editing of that music video. So uh, I'm not too, you know, even though I, I talk a lot on streams and stuff, I'm not too, uh, too outgoing when it comes to, to real life and like dancing and stuff. So right. <laughs> I was able to, to do a little shimmy shimmy. Oh, man. And oh, able funny. to... Uh, you know, not embarrass myself too much. <laughs> so, so, anyway, so tell me, uh, is it still echoing or no? I reshared it with no system audio. No, it's it's good now. Yeah, it's okay, totally sweet. good now. Perfect. See, I thought it was just gonna share like it, it. It shared the audio for everything. Like that was crazy. Anyways, but and also, dude, when this media video came out, you know, like uh, I notice a lot of people here now that I didn't know before. Oh like, yeah, it, isn't that Sparbuck or whatever? Yeah, yeah. How, you, yeah, how do you pronounce that? Crypto. Uh, so so, it it's it's almost like crypto. It's almost like crypto spar buch, where like it's like b u h almost. Like people say spar buck and stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced like crypto spar buch. So like okay, you know the, the way you. that the k and stuff, it's not really kind of like Spanish <laughs> with like jalapeno. Mm. You don't say jalapeno. But anyways, right. um, those guys. So yeah, that guy was Patrick, and then the other guy right behind. Uh, re right behind the guy's shoulder is uh, is Alan. So one of them is German, one of them is Austrian, and you know they actually got the idea to travel across the U.S. from the the Hex Vegas conference that we had had in uh, in June, and they were really inspired by like coming to America and meeting a lot of the American hexagons, and they said, oh, you know, we wanted, you know, we want to travel across the uh, the states and the popular mm -hmm. cities and and just meet all of the people. And then so I ended up getting like, uh, you know, funded and kind of extra support by, you know, a couple other people, Stake Rap and, and Discourse Syndicate and things like that. So it turned into something that they didn't even imagine what happened. But, you know, that's kind of what Hexicans do. And now it's the, the maximum opportunity. Yeah, um, <clears throat> definitely. Let's see. Um, so, yes. So you actually already brought it up just then what you mm -hmm. said. So you were in the Vegas at, at the first one, right? Yeah. The in person. Sure. Dude, I saw RG3 on a tank, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know when that yep, was, yep. but yeah. No, um, that's true. <laughs> so uh, what, because it, it wasn't recorded, was it? Um, which, which part wasn't recorded? The, the, was the, like the Vegas conference, like the conference in general? No. So, so yeah, there was, there was a handful of it that was, I mean, I know they had this, like, uh, this place called like the cat's meow, I think, which was like the karaoke bar and mm. they weren't really able to hear Richard. Uh, Richard had kind of like, uh, broadcasted to them and vice versa. Um, anyways, not all of it was recorded. I will say that, uh, funding Jim, Gary and big Kirkowski. Uh, Jeff, they had both funded, uh, once again, professional um, you know, filmmakers and photography people to pretty much document, I mean, a whole bunch of the people that were there and some of our stories. And he said that the only reason that that information, uh, you know, that those videos haven't been shared yet is because, you know, some of the content might be used in the highest of stakes documentary. And right. they want to let them kind of have the free reign on the content before you know, before publishing what they have. So thought that, that yeah. was awesome. So, so what was the experience like for the first, for the first comment? Cause I, you know, cause I didn't even know about it yet. You know, I'm, yeah, like I said, yeah. I'm new. True. So like, like what was the experience like going to Vegas and hanging out with all those guys? So it was great, man. Um, you know, even though I live in the States and the only other country I've been to is just Mexico. I've been to a handful of the States, definitely not, not all of them. Uh, that was my mm. first time going to Vegas and it was awesome i mean i uh i mean you know i can be pretty susceptible to partying with the crowd and stuff so i was trying to hold back as much as possible and, and you know obviously kind of just set expectations from the beginning of hey what i wanted to get out of it which was to you know meet a lot of the people there and mm -hmm. so as far as the experience it was great um mm -hmm. you know once i had flown into uh, to vegas took the airport to the hotel and then the, the hotel that I was at, one of the hexagons, uh, Casey, 
he had actually he's actually the one that supplied all of these hats. So he had spent I, I know it was at least a couple grand of his own money that he just donated, uh, you know, to make these hats. But it says LV 2021. And then, uh, you know, it's got this little hex thing. He he knew someone that had uh, like em- embroidery and they just mm. created some hex hats. But That's anyways, cool. uh, it was good. Um, you know, it's it's awesome to interact with people, as you mentioned, kind of mm. uh, on the streams and, and things like that. But in person, yeah. it's just a totally you know, different energy because obviously it's there physically and, and it's Mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, Everyone was just as, you know, genuine and uh, unique as they are, you know, behind the camera too. So how many people were at the first one? So there was 331 people. And I think so for, so in a couple of months, it's going to be March 6th through the 9th, uh, 369. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was initially 1,369 tickets that they were Mm going to sell. Yeah. But then something like uh, I think Maddie had mentioned most recently on one of his streams that the little convention that we're at, I think, is uh, I think has a max of like 600 people, something like that. Mm-hmm. So it's probably going to be roughly double this year. Yeah, at the Excalibur. That's dude. OK, so the great thing is I've got my ticket. I'm coming 100 percent. Nice. dude. And nice. Uh, are you going to be there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll definitely be there. Oh, yeah. I, uh, great. I didn't realize until until. Uh, until just like the other day that that they weren't doing what we what they did last time as far as uh you know they they had certain hotels like there was like the aria bellagio and then i think one other that they kind of had little discounts to uh i didn't realize that they weren't doing that this year i think they're they're kind of being uh mindful of people's security and privacy something like that so mm-hmm. I still have yet to book my hotel, but I'm going to be doing it uh, probably today or tomorrow. Yeah. I, I just I just booked one at the Excalibur. <laughs> I'm like, nice, you know, nice, nice. I was like, because guys like, man, because if I get a little too much drinks in me, you know, I'm, I, I'm <laughs> I just walk to my room. I'm good. But yeah, man, I am I am so so hyped because, like I said, man, you're like the first person I've actually like spoken to like yeah. that's that's big you know in the in the hex community, which is awesome. And you know, whenever like we go there, I'm be able to meet everybody pretty much you know so i'm just just so so excited man i can't i can't even explain it uh have you gone to any of the u.s road trip places that have been no so so they they uh i mean no uh they they had asked like hey are you gonna go because they had the one in seattle which was super close to me and then i think the next one which was in uh, spokane washington which which is about like a i don't know maybe a four to four to six hour drive for me. Um, mm-hmm. I, I had wanted to, and and honestly, probably sometime after I had mentioned either before or after Vegas, uh, I want to drive over to, to like California and say what's yeah. up to a lot of the hexagons over there. Um, mm-hmm. cause I just know that there's so many, um, you know, RG3 and crypto Kool-Aid and, you know, Casey, the one that did the hats and right. a whole bunch of people, crypto Vince and stuff, but crypto anyway. bins <laughs> yeah Man, i'm good... going to the yeah i'm going to the one in dallas on the 28th like uh oh cool man yeah like i said my cousin got me into it and like so like we're both gonna go down there but it's just gonna be me going to vegas but hey that's fine man that's fine because like I'm, I'm i'm pretty much extroverted in the in the crowd so it, it'll be fun to go and you know hang out because it might be a party vibe i don't know you know so there's <laughs> oh, gonna dude, be totally totally no, it, it's true <laughs> It's true. Yeah. I mean, it's awesome, man. Um, you know, uh, I mean, Kareem kind of talks about it a lot, but like work hard, play hard type of deal. And, and mm-hmm. uh, it's awesome. I mean, the, the first year was, was really fun. We had gone to a lot of different places on the, like the old strip and then the, the new strip and things like this. But, you know, it's, uh, it's so much more unique once again, um, you know, going to these conferences and things like this, because, there's just something different about the hex community where even uh, even the other day I did an interview with uh, with Jeff with with crypto kindness and we were talking on the phone for uh, you know an hour and 15 minutes but mm-hmm. it's almost like it's almost like you know the person as if like they're like your friend or things like that that you've like you know had a long term you know conversation or friendship for a very long time even yeah. though you know we hadn't so it's really awesome it's really yeah. organic and uh, I like meeting all the people. Dude, organic is the best. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Just be able to vibe with somebody, you know, like instantly pretty much. So true. <clears throat> but yeah, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
and the weather's not going to be as bad. Like, dude, last year, holy shnikes, man. I, you know, uh, you know, I can get pretty hot pretty quickly and stuff. And mm. it was in June, and like the first day, I think was like. 103 degrees oh my gosh like, oh dude like this isn't fun man <laughs> like i'm trying to get ice water and everyone's trying to serve me alcohol and it's like let me just get some hydration before i you know die of dehydration no nah, you anyways, just need more shots year, it'll it'll fix I know, right? more shots. <laughs> <laughs> but this year it'll be better as far as the yeah in march versus june because that's mm -hmm. the absolute peak of the heat so right yeah i i actually got this uh this this hoodie it's coming in the mail right now I, like I, d I designed it myself it like has like like my my ad and then it has like it says awesome, hex man. hex 40 percent average apy i mean 38 whatever 40 percent you know yeah and then yeah. it has pulse chain and then it, and then it has pulse x and it kind of gives like a breakdown like on the back of the shirt and then on the front yeah. it just has like all three logos and then it says delay yeah. gratification underneath it so man yeah. it's gonna be cool um did you get that jacket that you have at oh. uh hexmerch.com or was it at crypto wares uh it was i uh the, the one that's like black or the one that's like gray and uh and brown right yes so like mm -hmm. whatever yeah, yeah 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 that was just crypto wares um you know i'll be honest i haven't purchased anything from hexmerch.com mm -hmm. uh, i actually did purchase about five different you know flows of apparel just t-shirts of uh let's see some pulse chain stuff and i don't think any hex stuff but Mm -hmm. um, anyways that was yeah crypto wears that xyz i believe is their is their little thing and yeah. you know, i'll tell you what they're shipping i believe from china you know so it's it was a lot longer of a shipping than i was initially expecting i think it was maybe mm -hmm. like a month something like that i had kind of forgotten about it to be honest and then it showed so up when it came in, <laughs> uh, the first so i've ordered from them twice the first time it was this like uh you know really colorful almost like a rainbow type of deal with with the pulse chain and the hex colors and that was really awesome and then and i said oh man this is like really good quality that i'm not used to with say amazon or other stuff and then that's when i bought the other the other one but i, I like wearing the merch i mean you know it's, sure. it's an easy way to have people because i mean most people they're so generic dude like oh nike or jordan or whatever freaking brand and for me it's like oh okay people they're not used to seeing the hex or or the pulse chain, you know, they wonder like, oh, what the hell is this pulse chain thing right here? So it's kind of a good conversation mm -hmm. starter. Yeah, for sure. I mean, get the conversation started. Like I saw that guy on the conference that he like had like a five, 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 five tattoo and like a hex. Oh thing yeah. Right here. Yeah. You know? yeah. <clears throat> That'll definitely get a conversation going. So also how was it to be a part of the hex conference? The uh, online one this year? It was awesome, man. It was really cool. And, uh, you know, I had uh, I had participated in the one the year before, and that was kind of like a a little solo, kind of like a monologue of of what I'm used to doing. Mm -hmm. And this year, so that was about like a six minute monologue the the year prior. But then this year, it was a you know it was the very last one. It was a panel, um, and you know gotta gotta say what's up to Richard for I don't know maybe like a minute before they had kind of switched panels and, and yeah, that's I all saw that. I watched all of it, bro. <laughs> What's that? I said, I watched all of it. I saw it all. Oh yeah. 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 No, it's, it's awesome. I mean, uh, you know, and, and I tell you what, like what other, I mean, I think Richard's not only like the best person in crypto, but in, in mm. a lot of other regards, but you know, what other like billionaire do you see? Like, do you see uh, Vitalik um, in, in these conferences with Ethereum people? Do you even see Ethereum conferences? Do you see, bezos or any of these other people that are super wealthy billionaires you see them participating in the community like richard does the answer is no and so uh, anyways to answer your question uh it was awesome i had a really good time and you know i didn't really a whole bunch of people were like brand are you under hostage blink twice if you know if you're okay and it's because <laughs> once again, the, the microphone um someone had said my mic was a little bit too quiet and i thought that it was actually like uh, not quiet, but that it was like bad audio or something. So I was kind of like embarrassed or like nervous to even talk, but I didn't realize it was actually the mic itself. I just needed to bring it closer because uh, once again, I'm still getting used to the the new mic setup and yeah. manually adjusting the gain. So once I had yeah. realized that that was working, uh, it was great. And the the way that it ended with, uh, you know, the man with the golden mic, Diraj kind of singing us off. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that, that was really, really awesome. And, you know, once again, it goes to show you how cool this community is because uh i mean none of us are getting paid um the sticker guy 
he's the one that put in all of the time in the green room to you know before we all went on to the main stream mm -hmm. um, because there's so many people watching you have like a preliminary you know green room that you go into first a little stream yard thing to make yeah. sure your audio and things like that are good so right, shout right. out to those guys for all the work they put in yeah for sure for sure man so you know like i don't know when it was a few months ago or whatever when that big like mercy in stake happened and like uh the payout or yeah. whatever was like high yeah. I, you know i never knew what happened until the conference i saw that oh, yeah. you know yeah. i saw that uh, that older guy talking about it and uh dude he and dude what he had what he said bro like hit me bro he said i went from having nothing to sudden wealth back to having nothing and i was like oh my right. god bro like that would be awful that mm. would be awful yeah, and you know like a, a lot of people a lot of people just don't you know it's not that they i don't know they they just don't have good security proto or you know mm -hmm. they, they just don't do things good with security and uh th that's why it's important you know oh man like it's just security 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 like i so i only have everything in like staker app and so it's just on my phone you know te technically but um <clears throat> i don't know of any other way like staker app wise i mean it's just on my phone so <laughs> i don't know is there any like other security things i can even really do since it's backed by gnosis and stuff i don't know well i mean the only thing i would say is i mean obviously you you get that 24 word seed phrase mm. uh, that's that's generated when you're when you're setting up that gnosis safe wallet um and and i mean you know so many people They've just got like, oh, and, and check this out too. I got this little hex pen from uh from the from the Seattle conference. Uh black oh, cool. black black crypto. She uh she just gave it to me, which was which was cool. And I got some stickers and stuff. But uh, most people they just have it written down, you know, on pen and paper. And mm -hmm. I mean that's at, at least obviously a um a very you know first step that I that I would be doing is you you don't want any digital backups on your phone of that 24 word or the 12 word seed phrase because yeah definitely. that's exactly what happened to, to hex 19. Uh, mm -hmm. i know that you can graduate to and I actually i actually got it let me grab it real quick here all right just just for example just because it you know took two seconds to grab so this is something uh papa b had recommended it's uh it's pure titanium and you know, it's something that would would survive a, a fire, right? So what you can do is you can either you can either stamp like with a hammer and, and stamp set type of deal. You can stamp the the twenty four word seed phrase, or you can do what a lot of people have done, which is just like a little engraver, and you can you know put the twenty four words or twelve words here as well. Mm. Um, that's something I've seen people do as like a next step. But either way, as long as people aren't you know sharing it with anyone. Um, you know, people that ever help you with your crypto that say they need your seed phrase are are absolute scammers, and that's something that they try and prey on people that uh that are yeah. just ignorant. You know, um, yeah. But that's all I would say. I mean, you know, you've got the Gnosis safe, which is what Vitalik uses, and I think it's um you know I think that there's a lot of cool things that you can do with that that maybe you can't do with other wallets. Um, mm -hmm. So that's pretty much all I would say. Yeah, definitely, man. Um you know i have uh my stuff it, it could get burned out i have it in my firebox but uh you know if it burnt it's i guess anything could happen so that'd be a really good good idea just to get done you know um oh yeah yeah i was gonna show you this too not that it was really important but it was just kind of interesting how do we do that there we go with this this i like it clicked for me right i was like who is this and then i realized that she was also in this and that's yep, who that yep. is you know so yeah. everything kind of everything like in the community kind of just started like clicking together and like I, I start learning who more people are and stuff and mm. uh big community yeah dude it's huge like i'm still learning about ogs it's, it's crazy and then with all the new people it's just like yeah i mean i'm new so like i'm part of that but it's like how like it's, there's just so many which is a good thing but it's just mm. a lot you know <laughs> well and like you know, some people they they have this fallacy <clears throat> or or this um, illogical logic, I guess, in their head where where they think that like, oh, you know, hex has already gone up ten thousand x, and it's actually gone up more, right? Because if you cherry pick and then consider staking, 
it would have been a lot more, probably fifteen thousand mm. x. But but anyway, so you have people that are saying like, oh, you know, it already did ten thousand x. Why do I think it can go any higher? And then as we just talked about just now with with the community and something like Metcalf's law, where it's like, okay, just having one fax machine is kind of like null and like you know pointless, but if you have, I don't know, a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, well then now it's got a network that can really, you know, synergize together. Um, mm -hmm. So with the way that we're growing in Hex and Pulse Chain and Pulse X, they're all kind of like, you know, uh, almost like like an osmosis type of deal or reverse osmosis where like they eventually like kind of even out. Because like right now, dude, Pulse Chain Calm, you know, just the Pulse Chain Telegram is yeah. kicking Hex's, you know, Hex's booty. Um, mm -hmm. as far as how long it's been around and how many people are in it. Uh, yeah. So I think with more people hearing about it and then eventually hearing about X and Pulse X and things like that, um, mm -hmm. it's really just going to make this parabola start to start to kick off. And when people don't really realize is that, you know, Hex is designed to do what Bitcoin has done uh, and then more, you know, be the, the ultimate store of value. And then yeah. so Bitcoin's already done 6.9 million X from a penny. It's done more once again, but it's done uh, 6.9 million X from a penny. And it's like, mm -hmm. okay, well, maybe 10,000 X is actually really early, but people are just so spoiled because we're in crypto. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, cause like, you know, whenever I was doing that comparison from Bitcoin to uh, hex, you know, like it's so early, it's so early, you know, I understand people are retired. That's great. I understand that people are millionaires. That is awesome. But guess what? You can be too, you know, you can start yep. right now and you don't even have to invest your whole life savings man like like you know what what will and can be in the future is insane and on that topic of like the scam and stuff yeah man i joined so i joined the pulse chain i'm in all the telegrams the like the legit ones and there are so many scammers in the legit ones too that message you as soon as you join it trying to get you know trying to talk to you and get information ask if you need help and all this kind of stuff and so it's it, it's just very, really important to know that people probably are not going to message you asking you things, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, dude, security is definitely so a big one. But, uh, yeah, dude, that parabola, I mean, it's just going to it's just it's just going to keep going and going and going because so the issue right now, obviously, is gas fees and Ethereum. Mm. It's just I mean, it's just well, fucking us. It's it's, it's, it's so awful. True, yeah. So so, I, you know, I'm trying to get my my friends and family into hex i can't because they're they're not rich they like they work right. paycheck to paycheck so you know maybe oh. they save up and want to put 100 bucks in it they can't because it's going to cost oh. them a hundred dollars or more oh actually more to to yeah. you know to buy and send the usdc or let's just say usdc to you know their wallet and then and then swapping it for hex yeah. it, it's it's ridiculous it's so much money so you know the fact that richard is making pulse chain and, and pulse x it's uh it's a game changer. It's gonna be a yeah. game changer, man. Well, well, like you're you're so right. I mean, you can go to uh, etherscan.io slash gas tracker, and it'll just tell you what the current you know gas prices and costs mm -hmm. are. And and you mentioned that there's such a barrier to entry, and even the people that I onboarded because there was a, uh, a Uniswap airdrop for for those that had used it before a certain period. Um, so. My wallet was already looking really good at that time, you know, maybe my first hundred X. And so I said, Oh, okay, you know, these X amount of airdrops that I was able to claim. X. Let me just <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Let uh, me just hook up the family and the girlfriend and the pops and the mom. And so, yeah. anyways, um, but you know, we're, we're ending a couple of their stakes that were in the ladder I had set up for them. Mm -hmm. And man, like some of those fees, like the other day it was like six hundred bucks to end one of the stakes. And you know, you look at it right now, the ERC twenty transfer, it's $36.92 on, on average, which is what HEX is in ERC-20. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned the Uniswap swap. I mean, it's $113.59 based on the, the current GUI. And I think that something like Pulse Chain is absolutely going to freaking take the market share of Ethereum. I mean, you look at, you know, there's there's people that talk about things and, you know, we see this a lot in life or, or in crypto. And then there's people that actually do the things that they talk about. Um, yeah. Someone like Richard kind of, you know, he, he builds a lot of things and then he talks about it, which I think is cool. But mm -hmm. so you can actually now with Pulse Chain Testnet, you can use uh, the go.hex.com uh, front end. And, you yeah. know, I'm sure Staker app will have something very similar soon. But the point is, is that um, I went to go end a stake that was like 720 days. That had, mm -hmm. I had already ended on Ethereum. 
But uh, I tell you what, it was 0.008, uh, you know, TPLS. And, mm. you know, so that's like, that's like pennies. Nothing. What yeah. on Ethereum was, mm. I mean, at least five or $600. So it's yeah. going to at least save people's capital. And like you mentioned, you'll be able to onboard your friends, your family that, that are living paycheck to paycheck that just want to mm. throw 25, 50, however much into it on a weekly basis. They'll be able to now. Exactly, man. And that, and that will give the opportunity to grow exponentially, you know, exponentially when it comes to mass adoption and virality, you know, because to the majority of people, I mean, I mean, obviously, there are people that can afford it, but majority of people can't. And so the barrier entry, like you said, is, you know, it's really, really, really tough uh, uh, with with Ethereum right now. And also, it's changing the proof of stake, which is great, you know. Because, you know, because I was looking up how much just in like California, how much e-waste there was for from mining and all that kind of stuff. And we're not talking about electricity. We're just talking about like just, you know, throwing away your GPUs and stuff and all this other kind of stuff. It's just it's just it, it's it's ridiculous and ungodly amount. Yeah, I think it was the size of, of a country, how much e-waste they had yeah. or something. It, it, it was just it was just ridiculous, man. And so, uh, you know, like Richard said, you know, bringing bringing over to pulse chain the people over too will hopefully lower down the gas fees as well you know so hopefully they can kind of coincide and then bridge in your urc 20s param and you know earn an incentive token which would be cool um but i mean i can't really do that because i don't have much i only have i only hold hex that's literally the only thing i hold and i only have a little bit that's you know that's uh liquid right now but but and and the big thing is about that is the fact that you're getting a copy. You know that's mm. that's gonna perk some people ears up. Free money, pretty much. I mean, of course it starts at zero, but you know it's gonna it's gonna go up and and eventually you know be kind of kind of you know side oh, yeah. by side. So um, it, it, the pulse chain is just is just a great idea and and it's and it's coming true. And like like uh, Richard was or actually I was watching Maddie's stream a couple days ago. It was yesterday actually. Man, he was going off yesterday. I don't know if you saw it or not. <laughs> I, I saw. I saw. Yeah. 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 But uh, he's talking about um, or maybe he wasn't talking about it in that stream. I don't know. But sure. but Richard. But he was saying something like uh, like Do you want a founder that's gonna that's gonna get, tell you this date and then it doesn't come out by that date, or do you want him to tell you that he doesn't fully know the exact date, but there's progress being made and he's showing you the progress being made and mm-hmm. you know. He said, I don't want a founder that's going to lie to me, you know, and Richard hasn't right. been lying. He hasn't been, you know, he's been telling the truth and doing, you know, what he said he's going to do and trying to like make the world better by, you know, donating to sins and all that kind of stuff. So it's just, it's just a really good thing that's going on, man. Well, it, it's true. And uh, I, I completely agree. I mean, the, the cool thing with what Richard's doing once again, uh, I mean, he, he's a serial winner and that's why mm-hmm. we call it like team win and stuff. But a lot of people don't really realize that, I mean, he's a Bitcoin OG, right? Got in in 2011, was mining full 50 Bitcoin block rewards. So each time with his graphics, you know, his GPU, he was getting 50 Bitcoin each time that he had completed one of the blocks. But mm-hmm. anyways, with, with Pulse Chain, man, it's doing everything that Ethereum 2.0 has talked about doing. And you look at some of the other uh, the other forks of Ethereum, right? There's, and I'm not going to you know mention many, but just something like, um, you know, uh, say just BSC or Matic Polygon, for example. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I only mention those two because, you know, they, they gained popularity because they were a fork of Ethereum trying to mimic that E2.0 or that, you know, proof of yeah. stake, the delegated proof of stake. And Pulse Chain's doing that same exact thing, except it's doing it a little bit better. And then it's also having the largest airdrop in history. When you mention yes. people are going to flock to it and, I mean, think about it. Right now, there's over 60,000. This was like a week ago. I looked mm-hmm. at Pulse Chain Con. There was over 60,000 people that were there. And now, um, imagine how many people are going to be there or or hear about this that didn't hear about it before once mm-hmm. the mainnet launches. And the other thing that you mentioned, too, is like software is hard, right? Um, even with Hex, there's a, a meme of uh, four more weeks because... Um, once again, it's hard with software, let alone crypto software in, in blockchain yeah. development. And so Richard has mentioned that with with Hex, he had kind of, you know, he'd kind of learned for the first time, oh, okay, here's how it goes. But with Pulse Chain, um, you know, sure, he sometimes mentions, oh, two more months and et cetera. But he's also mentioned like preliminary like checkoffs that need to be done. Um, and so, for example, there's the go.hex.com that now works on 
testnet version two. There's mm -hmm. the Uniswap that works on testnet version two. There's the bridge. There's a whole bunch of these, you know, little checklists uh, that right. are, you know, being finalized that, okay, now all of these are done. Okay, now we can, you know, do the snapshot uh, for the block height, the hard fork, and then have that chain launch. Yeah, dude, it, it, it's going to be crazy. And, you know, I can't even, it, it's all just in my head trying to like picture it happening, you know, but, yeah. you know, I, and I can kind of picture it, but it, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, what's the word? Like euphoric almost, you yeah, know, totally. seeing it all totally. happen, seeing it all happen. And, uh, I mean, just right now you can see like, there's already almost, almost a billion dollars just in, this is just, uh, Ethereum coins, isn't it? Yep. Yep. On the yep. Ethereum, on the Ethereum chain. Yeah. Already almost a billion. So, I mean, what is it like on the other chains or on the other blockchain? It's probably over a billion, isn't it? Probably, you know, um, and, and it's crazy that, that this is kind of the thing because you would think that people would be staying on top of it so much. But once again, mm -hmm. um, I haven't really been following the other chains that much, but I know that, um, you know, a lot of people miss the sacrifice for Pulse Chain and you don't want to be sacrificing for Pulse Chain because even though they'd still be credited, the actual, and I did a video on this last night, but uh, the rate of the bonding curve for Pulse X yesterday was like 1.22. So it was like a dollar and twenty eight cents, something like that, for ten thousand points. But for uh, for Pulse Chain, it was like nearly fifty six cents. It was like five thousand six hundred. You know, what's the multiplier against you? So um, a lot of people missed the first Pulse Chain, and now they're sacrificing for Pulse X. And I think all of it, dude, is really exciting, and it's really something that once again is unprecedented. I mean, crypto has never seen someone like Richard that. You know, talks the talk, walks the walk, and you know he's a damn genius. But most geniuses, like that, are you know high IQ and stuff. Usually, mm -hmm. they're socially awkward. And Richard's not. He's got like the best of both worlds of you know the the entrepreneur, the intellect, and the extrovert. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. And uh, not gonna lie, when I first got into it, you know. <sighs> let's say before we before we knew about hex or anything right just just going along in life right and then so he introduced me to it and then when i first started listening to richard i was like eh, you know i don't know if i like this guy but the issue was he totally. in my opinion he's dealt with so many r dumb people that mm -hmm. he's like sick of it and so just kind of just telling it how it is nowadays you know and so uh, the more that i listen the more that i understand that he knows what he's talking about, even if like, you know, he cusses, oh, fuck it. You know, who cares? You know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, but, but the more I, li the more I listen to him, the more I like him. And, uh, but yeah, hundred percent right about pretty much everything, you know? So it, it's, sure. he says, jump, man, I'm going to jump, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and, and there's been, there's, um, this, this isn't the first time that Richard has mentioned where, you know, people that are usually successful or billionaires or, you know, Serial entrepreneurs uh, can be uh, eccentric and kind of, you know, have these personalities that that aren't just your average Joe, right? Like that's mm -hmm. why they're a damn billionaire and not, you know, working working at McDonald's or, or you know, working like your average job type of deal. Right. Um, there's something that kind of makes them tick that's a little bit different. But um, as you mentioned, I mean, once again, people like uh, I know Steve Jobs specifically. I don't follow all of it, but I know that mm -hmm. he used to have that kind of reputation as well, where you know, arrogant, cocky, overconfident, etc. But guess what? You know, he it was earned competence. It wasn't just arrogance of of uh, you know not having any previous success. It was being confident in what he was developing and what he had created along with the team of people. Yeah, and, not being he's not ignorant, you know. So <laughs> totally true. <laughs> That's the whole thing, you know. Because I was trying to get my uh, my dad. So he my dad tried trading me. Like he's in the stock market. Like you know, but not gonna lie man i love him he sucked at it he got wrecked i mean totally, i mean lo totally. pretty much lost his whole retirement you know it was awful sure, sure. and so uh totally. and it's depressing it's so depressing it is it is makes you just want to like cry honestly <laughs> you know it's yeah it's yeah. yeah and uh you know when we, when i got into hex got, you know you get that the more you do research the more you kind of you know change your worldview the more you get behind it you know you get this long-term mentality and it doesn't matter about the daily chart like you know mm -hmm. If it goes down like whatever percent in one day, okay, I'm not pulling out today. You know, <laughs> like right. it doesn't yeah. it doesn't matter. But he didn't have that mindset. You know, I got him into hex, and uh, 
you know, he said, oh, shit, it's down, you know, this much. Like, oh, we're losing money. I'm like, dude, yeah, just give it a month, then look at the chart. All right? Like, just chill with the True. chart stuff. Look at the long-term log chart. We're fine, bro. We're fine, mm. you know? And so when I, I – and I finally got him out of that habit. You know, I got him into the mentality of, of looking long-term at it, you know? And I got him to sacrifice for Pulse X now. Nice, so, uh, yeah, so I sacrificed for, you know, Pulse and Pulse X just a little bit, you know, just like four yeah, six hundred bucks, and just, you know, but nice, dude. That's, yeah, that's e even awesome. if that's a dollar, man, because I mean, if you just walk and go to 17 bucks, I think Pulse X can go yeah. to a dollar, you know? Well, well, it, you know, and, and once again, like people think that a 10,000 X, uh, seems like, like a, like a fantasy and like a, like a dream and like, like, oh, it could never happen to them. Until it freaking mm -hmm. does, dude, because yeah. um, I tell you what, especially with some of the deflationary, you know, with, I mean, because HEX is inflationary and its maximum inflation is 3.69, but it's not that way because, you know, the, that would be if a hundred percent of people were staking, right? So it's, it's a little bit less than 3.69 mm -hmm. and then it's, you know, delayed. But the point is, is that with Pulse Chain and Pulse X being completely deflationary, like yeah. that's just something that completely acts a lot different than anything else. And you also mentioned the, like the trader mentality. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've onboarded, I mean, pretty much all of my family, the girlfriend, a lot of her family. Right. Um, yeah. But with my dad, same thing where um, he, him and I were kind of investing in 2017 in some cryptos. And I'll be honest, we both got wrecked. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> long story short with, uh, with Hex, when I had started seeing some success and some gains, and I finally felt like, oh, okay, this is actually the right decision. After all those mistakes, this is the one. Yeah. I had boosted up his count a little bit more. And long story short, uh, the other day we go to end one of his stakes for for his birthday, and uh, now he's like, well, well, what should I do? And obviously, I I never give any recommendation or things like that, but I just say, hey, you know, here's here's the power of what you have. So we took his principle, and and I just said, we we haven't done the stakes yet, but I just said, hey. You know, if you lock for one year, this this amount of shares that it's showing currently, let's just say it was one. Well, guess what? Now it's showing, you know, 1.2 because you're getting 20% more shares for every mm -hmm. year that you lock. And so his his mind, once again, it's it's so uh, individualistic for everyone, for yeah. like your learning curve, how they learn about it. But his mind kind of clicked where he's like, oh, so so what if I do a five, a seven, and a 10 year? Because I was showing him, hey... If you do 3,641 days, which is about 10 years, then you'll get three times what you would have had if you had just staked for a day or a month per se. Right. So now he he had gotten it, but it really gets people out of that like trader paradigm and mentality because um, mm -hmm. otherwise it wouldn't be different than any other coin like Bitcoin or anything like that, but it incentivizes yeah. you to be you know a good member of the network. Yeah, for sure, man. Do you have a favorite Richard Hart? Richard Hart debate that he has done. That's a damn good question. Cause I know, I know some people would be like, Oh, you know, some people might say like Peter McCormick and stuff like this, but it's like, that wasn't really a debate that was just getting slandered the whole time. And then kind of going back. Um, I would say that, I mean, this was before hex, but it goes to show you Richard's knowledge on just mm -hmm. the aspects of crypto and was, uh, was Roger Ver or Roger Ver. Um, he had had him on a long time ago and, and Richard said that, uh, Hey, I'd made calls about, you know, you know, Bitcoin cash at the time that, Hey, you should sell it. And, you know, so he had a really good intellectual debate, I would say with Roger Ver there, um, off the top of my head, I can't really think of anything else specifically. Um, you know, Richard really is good at debate and things like that. And, you know, a lot of people, they actually hear about him from following their favorite influencer. And then Richard comes on and same thing that you mentioned, oh, who's this cocky son of a bee? And then you realize yeah. like, oh, you know, this guy's actually speaking truth and, and speaking, you know, truth to power and knowledge that my favorite influencer isn't doing. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, You know, I, I've seen a lot of them. I haven't, seen, I mean, I haven't seen a ton of them, but mm -hmm. somebody, you know, I was watching one and somebody said, uh, I saw the one with like the hedge fund manager. Or whatever, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, I think was that on like happy hour or something? I don't remember. Yeah, yep, yep. Cabana crypto. Yep. <laughs> yeah, one of his friends. Yeah. yeah, a little hedge fund. Dude, manager. that that was hilarious. He's like, You're in your Toyota, I'm in my freaking castle. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It was There's so, so many funny. Great... There's so many great moments um that that Richard that Richard expels and that he creates. And I agree, man. Uh actually today 
and uh, in one hour and five minutes. Um, so Hex Cadet, he's actually someone that I met in Vegas too, which was awesome. Mm-hmm. But he's the creator of the the Hex 2020 Rewind. And so for people that aren't familiar with Hex or kind of how the community and things like this first got started, uh, Hex 2020 Rewind, if you just type that in on, on YouTube, it's a really good um, refresher. You know, it goes over the price chart. It goes over Peter McCormick. Uh, the first day that Hex was launched, December 2nd, uh, Tone Bays and three lawyers were debating him and arguing with him. It shows all of that. And then once again, in an hour and about four minutes from now, uh, he's going to have the 2021 premiere play. So none of us ah. have seen that yet. And so I'm I'm really looking forward to that. because. And, and whose channel uh, is this? I'll have to look at it. Uh, it's, it's Hex Cadet. I can Hex uh, Cadet. I'll, I'll find oh, okay. a, yeah, I'll find a link. I'll here. definitely have to watch that, man. That sounds, that sounds really interesting. Hex Cadet. Yeah. Well, it just sounds, yeah. it just sounds familiar. Yeah. It's, it's okay. True. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll send it to you here. Actually, I can post it in the, um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, let me post it in the, in the chat here. Let's see if this goes through one, two, three. Okay. So yeah, that's the URL for it. Uh, once again, hex cadet, um, and same thing on his same channel, he's got the 2020 rewind. I think it's an absolute amazing resource for people to go back that maybe, you know, came in halfway of the year or don't know who all of these people are. Um, he kind of does a good job of telling a little bit about their story. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome, man. So you have a SciVibe self-help channel, I see. Mm-hmm. So what? tell me, for the people listening, what is SciVibe and why did you make this channel? Sure. So, I mean, SciVibe is like uh, one of the words that Richard's created, uh, you know, like surviving through science type of deal and through Senolytics and through, you know, solving aging as like a disease versus solving you know, cancer and heart disease. Because if you even saw both of those, the average that someone would live is like three years longer. And, uh, or maybe it's either three or four years longer. It was three and three, average seven, he said, for some reason. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Thank you. That's that's what it was. Um, I was thinking, I guess, of them individually. But anyway, so Richard has, you know, before he created, or sorry, uh, before he was in Bitcoin, before he created, you know, Bitcoin Hex, which is now Hex, uh, he had had this book that was something that was like, um, I guess, unpublished and, you know, it was kind of pre-edited. And yeah. what he had mentioned, and I didn't know about this until, I don't know, maybe half a year ago, a year ago, but he had mentioned when he was traveling all around the world, uh, he would have his phone and he was just doing audio messages of what he wanted for himself. Like he was making a compilation for himself of all of the good news and exciting stuff that he had heard about. And then that had been transcribed, uh, transcripted into text. So that's kind of the first layout of what sci-fi was. And anyways, the point is, is that it's pretty much kind of like a a whole instructive, a manual or like a self-help book where, you know, if people are wondering about um, their, their psychology, right, their mental, physical health, or how to be better at relationships, right? Whether it's your family or whether it's with, you know, significant others, he kind of covers the whole gambit. And, and once again, uh, I did, did a video with crypto kindness the other day and, you know, a lot of this information, you know, some of it, uh, I mean, most of it's kind of just recycled, right? Where people that have self-help books, it's kind of like the same thing, but maybe in a different form or different factor. And I made the channel because I've always been interested in, you know, self-help and and back in the day when I would follow it, they were always talking about multiple streams of income and and getting passive income. And so I'm so happy that I found, you know, the best product in the world for that and for performance, which is Hex. But anyways, I, uh, I like to make these videos because, and I don't know if you experienced this too, but, you know, they're almost like more gratifying for me and almost like you know, more for me selfishly than it is for the people that I'm helping or that, you know, might be listening to it. Uh, I feel like a certain satisfaction out of doing it because, you know, you're, you're doing something productive and you're trying to educate people. So part of it is to, you know, try and, you know, I mean, no one's perfect, right? Um, no one lives a perfect life, but part of it are things that, that I've struggled with and that mm-hmm. I want to improve or, or that I have struggled with and have kind of gotten past that I think that, you know, other people might be able to relate to. I mean, there's this thing that Maddie Allen talks about when, when you, when you, when you make it, whether it's winning the lottery or whether it's having a 10,000 X in under two years, 
is that like sudden wealth syndrome. And once again, most oh my, people, yeah. you know, I thought the same thing. Oh, I just have a thousand dollars in hex. Like, you know, this is just, you know, as much of all of the crypto before, and now it's compiled into hex, you know, that, that would never go to millions and stuff. And then, and then right. you see the price performance and, and now you're like, oh, okay. Like, I guess this, I mean, a lot of it's on paper, right? But if you start to realize some of it, it's like, okay, you know, this thing is life changing and something that can come with that are, you know, uh, you know, whether, whether you're rich or poor or just making it by everyone's got mm. problems. But when you have the, the greater wealth there, they're different kinds of problems. So Richard talks a lot about in SciVive, you know, just things that he's dealt with personally and things that he's overcome. and. I just try and make a little documentation of some of my stuff. That's awesome, bro. That's really cool, actually, because, you know, not a lot of people would do that and like put themselves out there and try to help others. Because I know a lot of people who are really selfish, man, you know, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. it, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, and it almost makes you feel good on the inside. Like literally, you can, you can like feel it, you know, whenever. Totally. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I actually already, you know, have that uh, that both. Okay, I have your regular YouTube, I have your SciVive YouTube channel, and I have your Twitter linked in the description right now. Um, so there is that. Dude, I, but yeah, man, I am so hyped to meet people. Like, like even though I've been a part of this community for so long, like, I put hundreds, I'm serious, when I'm not lying, hundreds and hundreds of hours into learning yeah. about Hex, and watching Richard fucking, you know, watching all this stuff. Like, totally, like, man. You know, uh, Motley cabana yeah. i could just sit here and name people for days you know but <laughs> totally. but uh meeting people it, it's going to be a surreal experience because I, I don't really get out and do stuff like this so it, it's 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 going to be crazy yeah. it's going to be crazy yeah um that's really it that's really all that i had in question wise for now is there anything else that you wanted to add on or anything no that was pretty much it i mean once again uh and i, I didn't realize that until you had told me when we we're in the green room but You'd mentioned this is kind of, you know, your your first video with with another you know community member and yeah and uh, you know that's kind of how the experience is with uh, with with Vegas where where once again like it's just awesome man because I've experienced a lot of communities that you know and and you know I don't know people have got their own little communities of choice and stuff and they all got pros and cons but mm -hmm. with this community I've never met uh, a more group of genuine honest people that that have integrity, that have dignity and just want to help out. I mean, mm -hmm. when you look at someone like Richard Hart, you'd mentioned that, you know, a lot of what you're doing, what I'm doing, what everyone else is doing uh, is for free and is trying to get back. And I think it just comes from, from, from the leader, right. From someone who is Richard that, you know, is arguably a billionaire that, that, you know, doesn't have to do any of this, but he's doing it because he wants to, help his fellow man because of the same selfish thing that you mentioned. Hey, you feel good when you're trying to lift other people up and, and help them succeed. You know, yeah. the quickest way they say, uh, like one of those sayings, like the quickest way to achieve what you want is to help other people achieve what they want and what they need. And so I just see the community that has followed in Richard's footsteps that are, you know, evolving and that have different, you know, skills and, and uh, sets of, of information and friends that, you know, maybe other people don't have. And it's almost like a big synergy. Like when you go to the Vegas and, and I'll be going there too in less than two months, mm -hmm. it, it almost feels like a big, a big family, you know? And once again, yeah. uh, a lot of these people in the chat, I mean, Completion Fails, Andreas Falk, uh, Marcavelli, and I think that was it as far as the chat goes. You know, sometimes you, uh, I mean, for me at least, I would see same thing, a handful of people watching when I first started. And then, and you really have to realize like, you know, that's not just characters on a screen. Those are, those are people, people. that are spending yeah, yeah. their time. And so it was really surreal when, I mean, with Vegas last year, and once again, it'll be the same this year where it's like, Oh, you know, these people that have watched your videos or been a part of the community as well, you get to meet in person and it's awesome, man. Like community yeah. can really, if someone is like uh, lonely and depressed and sad and like, they don't have like a community and stuff that, that can kind of support them and help them. Uh, I think that, something like a community and something as strong as the hex community and what Richard Hart's doing can really lift a lot of people up. I mean, mm -hmm. people like Joe Hexotic were damn near suicidal, uh, like a week, a couple of weeks before uh, hearing about hex from one of his friends, hex, hex live. And so mm -hmm. there's just so many stories that you hear of, uh, you know, lives being changed, uh, not only financially, but, but, you know, with their physical health, because they had, 
they had wanted to live for their stakes to end, or they had read some of the stuff in sci-fi that had helped them that I think is uh, really doing the world a better place. So for people like yeah. yourself that are coming on board and, and participating too. And uh, I think that's awesome because once again, we can all learn from, you know, people like yourself or whoever else that's coming on board right now. Um, you know, everyone's got their own perspective and and we all kind of learn a different way. So shout out to you for, for keeping up with this, you know, it'll, it'll eventually kind of hit that, that point where, okay, now more people, you know, as you're consistently streaming and kind of have a little, you know, schedule or regimen, you know, people are consistently coming back and, you know, you right. notice repeat faces and then it just gets bigger and bigger before you know it. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Like, just like you said, man, these aren't just like, these aren't just, just names on a screen. Like, these are actual people tuning in. I don't care if it's like one, two or three, like I'm still talking to people, you know, and especially on the replays, these are getting out to other people. And uh, like you were talking about, you know, mental health, like suicidal and stuff, man, that's a big deal. You know, mental health, yeah, it, really it can is. take a, can take a toll on mental health, can take a toll on your physical health. It can, it can take a toll on people around you, you know, and, sure. and you, you, you just want to have a good support system. You want to have a good community and, uh, and Hex will definitely do that for you, you know, hundred percent. And, uh, do when I'm in like, like, since I said, you know, you're the first person I talk to, you know, so I'm always in chat and I'm like a little fanboy dude, like, like behind a keyboard, like, like talking and I try Maddie, bro, pull up my, pull up my, uh, my comment in chat and notice me, notice me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's so funny. So, so sometimes I'll have to super chat to get them to notice me, you know, $2. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. True. But it's awesome, man, and I, and I feel like it's all going to be organic too. I feel like I feel like oh, yeah. everybody's going to welcome each other, and it's going to be a great experience. Even though I don't know, I but I I'm pretty sure I know, and I feel like that's how it's going to be. So yeah, oh, man, yeah. I cannot wait. Well, it it's true, uh, and uh, once again, um, you know, it's it's awesome that the the people that even even have retired or or have been early, you know, OGs, quote unquote, that have done uh, you know successfully with hacks. Yeah. Um, you know, they're, they're not stopping either. I mean, that was one of the coolest things that I saw in Hex was that once again, just like with Richard, right. He, he didn't have to ever show his face or come out from his, his, uh, you know, uh, what do they call it? <laughs> Satoshi. The, the, the username. Right, right, right. From, <laughs> from, you know, from their anonymous, uh, anonymous name beforehand. Um, but the point is, is that Richard did take that step. And, and now we see a lot of the people, like you mentioned, Maddie all in uh, uh, a bit hex uh, Patrick Patrick hex lion crypto Sparbu. these are people that have already been successful with hex and, and guess what they're still here they still believe in it and we're really mm -hmm. just trying to educate people I mean think about how great this can be when all of us have some serious mad gains and yeah. the actual snowball effect keeps just rolling downhill and getting bigger and bigger and bigger so it's awesome man yeah yeah, definitely, man. It's been great having you on. Where can people find you if they want to learn more and, and stay in your community totally. and stuff? Totally. Yep. Um, just on my links.com slash ballet brand as it's in the title. And the very last thing I'll say, because I promise this is the last thing, is is that everyone in the community, like, let's do a good job and let's keep leading by example by retweeting everyone. You know, if someone yeah. is new to streaming, if someone is just getting started, um, you know, play it in the back. Like, even if you're not going to be able to watch it or listen to it play it in the background and give them that extra view or, or give them a retweet to your Twitter, to, you know, your friends, because once again, it really gives them like a boost of confidence and, and like, you know, yeah. kind of a reason for doing it. And it just makes our community that much bigger. So that's right, all I have. To totally. And I'm not rushing you at all. I could sit here all night if I want to, but I'm just trying to be courteous to your time, you know, and I didn't really have any other topics. Um, totally. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, we could do this all night. But other than that, man, um, let's see. I guess that's really it. And, you know, go go give him a subscribe. Go uh, go subscribe to his YouTube channel, his, his SciVibe channel. Follow him on Twitter and all this kind of stuff. Um, and then one day, man, I'm about to come on your channel, bro. I was going to say, dude, I, uh, you know, what I usually do with these kinds of, uh, collaborations is, you know, maybe if it's cool with you and like a couple of, so, I mean, you know, I've already kind of retweeted on telegram and on Twitter across the few accounts, this video, but then maybe in like, I don't know, like two or three days, I can just download the video from, uh, you know, just a YouTube to MP4. And mm -hmm. then, and then what I usually do is like, just like I do on like the clips or anything, uh, it's the first link in the description where it's like, okay, go follow Hex Element, uh, you know, go subscribe to him here. And then that way it's kind of like a little bit of a cross promotion. Um, yeah. That's actually what kind of started me to do this in the first place was that 
funding Jim, he saw that a lot of my videos were on hex and, you know, kind of passionate. And then he's like, well, you know, the, the greatest thing in marketing and advertising is cross promotion and is recommending to your friends and vice versa. And so I didn't really know what to do there. Cause it's like, well, all I really know is hex. Like, I don't really know what else I'm good at, but then the conversations with people has just been like a, a real eye opener and something that I like. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to hear a little bit about someone's background versus just what they can regurgitate right from, mm -hmm. from their, their memory bank and their information. So yeah. people like crypto heartbeat, I know does a good, a good job at this. And, and I've been trying to do some interviews as well, but it's a, yeah. it's a special community that we have here and you know, it really is so early on. So, so early with your father and things like this, like, yeah, that's the thing that I long for is, I mean, I've had success in a lot of the people that I know, but so has my family, but I can't wait till they have that, you know, never work again money as well when we have our yeah. next hundred thousand X. Yeah. I mean, pretty much not entirely, but the whole goal really is, you know, becoming financially free. How are we going to do that? Cause we don't want to sit here and work a nine to five for somebody for the rest of our life. You know, because totally. it's it, it's miserable, man, for most people. You know, if you love your job, you love your job. Totally, but man. but most people don't. Most people want to become financially free, and they're always learning, look, looking for a way to do that. But in in nine, I'm telling you, ninety nine percent of people don't make it, dude. They get scammed. They they lose all their money from trading and also all, all this other kind mm -hmm. of stuff. You know, so so the more you you know, so the more information that's out there about hex, true information, credible sources, <laughs> all that kind of stuff, it, it is great. It's great, and you know. And and the fact that Richard Hart really doesn't lose debates also gives people confidence that, you know, to invest really all, as well, yeah. you know, so, so everything's good, man. I'm so hyped to be a part of the community. I'm so hyped. Oh yeah. By the way, for sure. I don't care. Yeah. Take this video, post it wherever I don't oh, okay, yeah, cool. do whatever well, you want. I'll do it in a couple um, of days. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. But, but I, man, like I told you, I'm such a fanboy. When I get there, bro, it's going to be just hype for like the whole time, man. Like, like. I'm, I've never been excited, more excited for something in my life. I'm telling you, because like every, ever since I, ever since I've gotten in this community, bro, I've never been, even though on my YouTube channel, is only like goes back a couple months. Sure. I've never been this active or posted this many videos or like, or like been, been, or like been in the mindset, you know, that I'm in right now. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, it's crazy. I got my plane ticket. I got everything booked. Yeah. We're going, we're having a good time. If you can't make it, it's no big deal, but you know, just just everybody keep doing what you're doing. We're gonna get it. Paul's chain launch. You know, it's gonna be the great thing. Go subscribe to him. But I mean, other than that, man, I, I guess I guess we're wrapping it up. This is awesome, though. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the very last thing. Is like you know, like you mentioned, uh, get involved and engage with the community because yeah. someone like Wales only. Uh, I think Gerardo was similar too, where they had they had just made their first video, and and once again, these are people that were just like Richard, right? Yeah, uh, where you know they're kind of in the backgrounds before and kind of just observing and lurking mm -hmm. before, but then they said, "Hey, you know, I've got a skill set that uh, that I can provide value here, and instead of me just having the value for myself or the thing that I'm good at, let me broadcast it for everyone else." So I know Wales only did his first stream, and I heard about it through someone else, and I said, "Like I saw his first video, and it's like, dude, you know, like we got to do something together, or you know, teach me what you know and." And so anyways, it's cool that, like you mentioned, you don't have to be doing this. You don't have to be spending your precious time uh, making these videos. But, you know, it's almost like not that you're compelled to, but that you want to. And, you know, yeah. it feels good to have engagement with the community. And, you exactly. know, we really do lift each other up. So we're all succeeding together. I mean, you they say as far as like your sphere of influence, if you've got a positive influence of people, Versus a group that's negative, that's always down and oppressing. Well, then you'll be what, negative and down and oppressed. You know exactly. And so yeah. you know you're on a successful team, successful community. So is everyone else that's watching. And you know, let's keep surrounding ourselves with with uh, success, with uh, positivity, with with knowledge, and keep growing together. So that's all. Hundred percent. A hundred. Yeah, no problem. And like I said, dude, we're gonna have to do this again pretty soon because this is fun. I, I, totally. You know, dude, and I. I, I and uh, you know it's great too because because it 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 gives me someone to bounce ideas off and and it 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 like and it's it's fun for people to watch I think you know <laughs> so instead of just me sitting here talking to a screen you know 
uh, not saying I don't talk to chat or anything, but I'm saying when I'm on a topic or something, you know, it's hard to get other ideas. So it's awesome having conversations and cross promotion and all that kind of stuff, like you said. But yeah, man, uh, guys, go follow him. Give him, you know, all the support. You know, everybody on here probably came from yours. You already follow him anyway. But anybody in the uh, in the replays or anything or anybody that doesn't know about anything yet about Hexwise, go watch the videos on my channel. Go watch the videos on his channel. Follow Richard Hart. All the stuff is in the description. Um, Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. See you later, guys. Peace out.